Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to share with you about breaking bad habits. We all have some bad habits. I too have some bad habits too, and often get guilty about this one. So the goal is to about what I do is I'm gonna capture those bad habits and I'm gonna smack them and destroy them out of my life. In this video, I'm gonna share with you the five fundamental tools and formulas I really use to kill the bad habits and break them down and throw it off my, off my life so I can have a space to build a good habits in my life to take my life forward you have some bad habits of course you do yeah, yeah don't lie you have it right but the goal is about smack them out destroy them break them and put them out of life and put in the good good habits into it you want that right of course you do so let's get started let's mashing this bad habit out Number one, what I do is about identify and visualize. The thing we cannot see, we cannot measure, right? So first the goal is about identify them and visualize them. So what I do in my first thing is well, when I want to break a bad habit, I will be really be specific, identify them, what is the particularly bad habit I want to, I want to break it down. And then what I do is normally, I normally use a sticky pad, a yellow sticky pad, write it down, the bad habit, and stick it in front of my wall. Hey, that's the bad habit. We want it, I want to get rid of it. I literally write it down in a sticky note and put it in my next to my desk. And normally my desk have a lot of sticky notes and not hundreds, but few of them. But the goal is about not to have hundreds of them means I'm not working on any of them. So my advice is on this one, what I do is about I normally do maximum two to three bad habits at the same time. So three sticky notes is fine at a time. One, two is even better as well. So that means I'm very specific about. It. So now what I just told you. Identify and then write it down a sticky note and put it in my wall. So now I have visualized every day I'm seeing this bad habit and I'm gonna create an anger and and hatred about the bad habit inside of me. And that's a good driver for me because I need an energy to kill and bra break that bad habits. And that's something I want. I'm gonna get that energy. I want to get that fuel out of it from by seeing it every day. Number two. Uh, what I do is about whenever I already have identified into it and I'm starting visualizing into it, now I'm going to implement a smart framework. You probably know about the smart framework. It's that's the people set goals. For me, I also use that framework to actually break bad habit too. So smart framework at S stand for specific. So I will exactly what habit I want to break. And I want to be also very specific. What is the outcome it's going to look like after breaking that bad habit? So. Second step is about relevant. So that means I really see this one, how relevant is that bad habit in my life? How it is deteriorating me to achieve my goal as well too. Because when I'm doing this one, it's really helping me to understand how much it's really impacting my life. Because that's why the relevant thing is very important. Because relevant thing is, I need it because I want to drive energy out of it. I want to use it as a fuel. Because hey, I want to do this thing in my life. And this bad habit is obstacling me, they're slowing me down, pushing me back. Oh no, 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 I don't want to let it to happen. I want to go ahead. I want to go to my goal. I want to be setting my flag of victory on that one too. And this is the, the bad one which is stopping me to go there. No, that's why I'm going to use this one as a fuel. Second one is measure. So I want to be continuously measuring into it because I know that to make a good habit, it takes normally, according to the science, 56 to 70 days. Exactly. I really said this one, 56 to 70 days. And in the between, it's something happened. Normally, I, I'm pretty much a hardcore about it. Normally, I, I try to get it by 60 days. 70 days is too long for me. For Probably for you, it could be something in the middle. It could be more, up to even 73, or it could be only just 56 days. Figure it out. So what I'm going to do is about, I continuously measure it. So that means, when I am breaking a bad habit, so what is my ultimate behavior to breaking that bad habit? I will write it down and normally I put it on in my in an Excel file and I track it down this day, did I do it or not? Did I do it or not? Yes or no? My goal is to get to green as many as possible because the more red I'm, ge I'm getting into it over there, that means no, means I have break my commitment on that one too. So my goal is about getting as, to, as many green as possible, 90% even better. and and more and getting more red means I am not making progress. So that's why I want to measure those activities. Am I falling into that? Am I doing those bad habit activity or not? Which actually slowing me down and not letting me break down out of that jail. Third is, is about attainable. I'm always looking into an attainable goals. 
So like an example, if I have a big bad habit, I try to break it down some micro small habits. So it's a big habit one over there and micro habits, and then I'm gonna target and, and break them out. So my approach is about divide and conquer, because when I'm not dividing, it's such a big muscle over there and it can actually rustle me down. I'm trying to get organized. So what I'm doing is about I'm gonna divide them and then I'm gonna go all in about it and I'm gonna smack that out and put it out and get it done and kill them and then I'm going for the next one too so that's why I'm putting on that that formula break it down and back of it and then the behavior what I'm putting into it I'm also setting out as an attainable can I really do it how easy it is how interesting it is how difficult it is my goal is to get it keep it interesting as interesting as possible and as micro as possible so if I just a little attention I can just simply do it so it should be a loss more and the number last one is about T is time bound so like I say that in, in normally as I know from the science the research that it normally takes 56 to 73 days to, to break or build a new habit so basically I'm moving out from one habit to another habit so what I do in this one is about I am always setting a goal my goal is to get to there at 56 I want to go minimum sorry this is what is my my intention I want to go to get to that one as fast as possible I want to establish as one of my habit by saying this one I have letting go of this bad habit because this comes with my self-esteem for you it can take a longer or maybe it can even shorter who knows maybe you are even even more aggressive than me if when you're watching good luck go ahead number three habit loop analysis so habit loop analysis i have a three things number one cues number two routine and number three is about reward so that means what i'm doing when i'm tracking the, this is very much related to about the measurement part which i just told you in a, in a few minutes back but this is what i really use when i'm going to the measurement so my goal is about when i wanted to trigger a, a an activity which will lead me to a bad habit then what I will do is about I will trigger some specific set of routines okay like an example I'm feeling hungry at 11 30 p.m. and I don't want to do that because I am building a habit of intermediate fasting so what I will do is about no I have an intermediate fasting and in that moment what I will do my routine is about just go to the street there and have a one glass of water full glass of water because when I'm drinking all this water to fill up my stomach I am not that hungry anymore and that's how and the next morning I, and I recover from the morning and I'm having my breakfast and I'm really joyful that hey I have done it I have done it I, I successfully the intermediate fasting cycle is done and I know how amazingly effective it has done in my health which will be helping me to keep staying forward in my life as well too for you that's the same way your goal is to find out those cues what editing that I want to and then have a specific routine to, to counter that cues and then set up a reward it could be even you can pay or yourself as well to some time in some of the bad habit okay if I could if I could take this action I'm gonna pay myself that amount of money that means I'll basically put in a fund and it will become a gift for me or I sometimes I do okay if I don't do this one I have to give a specific amount of money to the charity or some some um, people who are in need so now a charity is a great thing but still giving to myself and doing something rewarding myself is much more interesting than just doing charity so yeah don't fall into the trap by the way that could be very dangerous if you're thinking about oh let's do charity and you stick to a bad habit and you end up doing a lot of charity money as well too number four accountability partners so for this one what i do is about when i'm making any bad habit go in my life normally i always share with the person hey this thing i'm doing right now i am breaking this bad habit out of my life so hold me accountable when you see me doing this one too so now i'm in a situation my self-esteem is triggering out okay i don't be looking like a person who putting myself down in front of even other people too because that accountability partner will do come exactly full is hey you're supposed not to do that right oh i'm supposed not to do that that's exactly right so that's why i'm using external force to even reward myself and kind of correcting myself when the movement i am slipping in out so accountability partner can be a really valuable thing to setting goals building a new projects building a new a new business accountability partners or coaches are really helpful for, for this one i don't think that you really I, I never needed a coach what i need an accountability partner who just point me out hey you are not doing it what are you supposed to do and that's a really great reminder to remind myself to say hey i'm supposed not to do it the last one I use about imagination, I continuously imagine this one that when this bad habit is in my life, how it is impacting to who I want to be. 
how it's stopping me to achieve my goal. Because every bad habit someone that let it go in my life, I always relate that one to something in my life, a goal which I'm working on to achieve. So this is supposed to be very efficient, right? But this bad habit is not letting me to do what I want to be. It's not slowing me down, dragging me down. Oh, no, no, no. This is really bad. And then I also imagine the other thing. What will be life look like when I let this bad habit go in my life? How amazingly will I feel? How amazingly I would be excited about myself? And then I also imagine about what will be my life look like when I achieve that goal which is related to this bad habit? How successfully I will be, how amazingly am I gonna feel? So like an example, one of the bad habits I'm working on is letting to go the bakery out. I used to eat my every breakfast was a bakery and now I'm getting rid of it from last few weeks period of time. So now, every time I'm getting bun me, looking at bun me, I have a specific rule about routine to reply to that one too. And I'm constantly thinking, why am I not eating bun me for a year? How amazingly my health will be. How amazingly different shapes I'm gonna get in my life, in my body, when I'm not having a loss of bread. What I used to do every day in the morning for many years. Oh, I feel bad when I just think about this one too. So here you go, you got my five things. This is the way you can use this one to break those bad habits and become what you want to be and achieve that goals and for your life. Because every bad habit is stopping me and you to go become what we become and achieve the goal what we want to do. So go ahead, break the bad habits and you probably want to check out this video here. In this video, I explain about some mental model which can help you to become more successful. So what are you waiting for? Go click right now and I'll see you there. All the best. We have some exciting plan for the next week. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it out.